Assalamu alaikum dear students here we are with a new topic of AS basically this is uh, uncertainties in the measurement this is your topic from AS physics uncertainties in the measurement of physical quantities as you know that measurement is a process where we uh, determine that what is the value of a particular quantity and whenever you will measure the quantity you will always have a sort of uncertain situation or you can say the sort of confusion yani uh, if you want to define this uncertainty then how you can define the definition is here the uncertainty in a measurement is the range above and below a stated value over which we would expect any repeated measurement to fall what does this mean here we have an example you can concentrate here on the uh, right side we have an example if we have the, the average height to which a ball bounced when dropped from same height was 38 cm but actual measurements varied between 35 and 41 cm yani when you are measuring the uh, you can say the height after the uh, the bonds or rebound from the ground you found that at one time it is 38 uh, sorry at 35 and at another it is 41 so what you will say that there is a difference of 3 yani the reading is 3 plus minus 3 of 38 so what you will say that we are uh, dealing with an uncertain situation or the uncertainty in the measurement is plus minus 3 is it clear we can also uh, define the uncertainty in this way that the measurement can be thought of as the difference between the actual reading taken and if you are using any equipment or you are using a technique then the actual reading which you are the re- uh, taking and the true value if you can recall in the previous discussions we have been discussing the precision and accuracy and random error and systematic error and uh, of course if you will recall particularly the systematic error then you can recall this effect as well that if you are using a particular equipment then you may have a situation that it may be the above or below a particular reading yani there is a sort of error yani equipment suppose if you have a zero error then it may be positive or negative of a particular value so this is something which is uh, very important and uh, here we are talking about the situation again we can take another example here if the true value of the mass of a box is 850 suppose but the actual reading come as 852 so what you will say that here we have the uncertainty of plus 2 so this is something which is very important it may be 852 or even it may be somewhere 8 8 so the above and below of this value we have a sort of uh, you can say values which is a difference and the difference is of 2 so this is how you can define the uncertainty now whenever you will have a particular value we uh, have the following terms uh, for the uncertainties like suppose first of all you can say that here we have 38 which is the actual value so the true value is 38 and we will represent this by suppose x then we have a term absolute uncertainty and this absolute uncertainty is given as delta x in this example our plus minus plus 3 is your absolute uncertainty then you will have the fractional uncertainty yani your absolute uncertainty divided by the actual value will give you the fractional uncertainty in uh, one situation you can deal only with the absolute uncertainty but, uh, but in other cases the f- fractional uncertainty will be your important term and the required term on the other hand if we will go for the next term this is percentage uncertainty so of course when you will multiply your fractional uncertainty by 100 you will get the percentage uncertainty 
in your uh, uh, you can say exam you will see that all these types of uncertainties they are discussing and they are like suppose here you have the uh, example of 38 plus minus 3 uh, centimeter so the true value is 38 the plus minus 3 is your absolute uncertainty and of course then you can go for the other uh, you can say uncertainties as well here uh, i have given more details like if you have a single measurement the reading of its associated uncertainty will be given in the following form and here you have the value x and delta x is your absolute uncertainty so you will write in this way the value plus minus the absolute uncertainty so if the value of the quantity suppose or the true value x is 12.5 centimeter millimeter in one case and its absolute uncertainty delta x is 0.5 millimeter then the reading you will write in this way delta x plus minus uh, x plus minus delta x is 12.5 plus minus your absolute uncertainty which is 0.5 with the same example we can write the fractional uncertainty in this way that delta x is 0.5 and x is your 12.5 so your delta x divided by x is nothing but 0.5 divided by 12.5 whatever the value you are getting will be the value of your fractional uncertainty similarly if you will multiply this fractional uncertainty by 100 you will get the percentage uncertainty so this is something which is very important and uh, here the uh, in this example simply you can say that already we have calculated the uh, fractional uncertainty so when you will multiply this fractional uncertainty by 100 you will get the percentage percentage uncertainty and of course uh, I am not writing the value here but whatever the value you are getting this will be in percentage so percentage uncertainty you can calculate in this way now uh, there are uh, other points as well like uh, here we have one very important thing that the measured value of any quantity can be characterized by two important terms Then whenever you are uh, going to measure the value of a quantity and you are considering the uncertainty then these are the points which you have like suppose if you are dealing with the, the vernier caliper as we have discussed this thing before as well vernier caliper has a sensitivity any yani least count this sensitivity is basically the least count so the least count of your vernier caliper is suppose 0.1 cm so of course your uh, uncertainty will be somewhere here with 0.1 cm and if you are dealing with the say screw gauge then in case of screw gauge you know that you are dealing with 0 0.1 uh, 0 0.001 centimeter this is the least count of your screw gauge so simply you can say that the sensitivity of the instrument which is the screw gauge in this case is more than the sensitivity or higher than the sensitivity of the vernier caliper so simply you can say that in this case the un, the absolute uncertainty can be written in terms of 0 0.001 centimeter so this is something which is very important the more sensitive an instrument is the more precise is the measurement so if you can recall the last discussion which we had in the last uh, uh, you can say uh, lecture of uh, uh, as we have discussed the precision and accuracy and if you can recall we have discussed this thing that like suppose here you are using the screw gauge and the least count is 0 0.001 centimeter so you can get the more precise value and of course here we have 
the uh, the value which is basically this is 0.1 cm and uh, here we have 0.001 cm basically this is 0.01 cm not 0.1 cm so this is uh, something which is important here we have 0.01 cm is the sensitivity so the precision of your reading which is your absolute uncertainty in this case will be up to somewhere 0.01 plus minus but in this case you know that the sensitivity is 0.001 so your the pre precision will go to 0.001 cm so this is very important to know that which instrument you are using that instrument will determine that what will be the precision and of course this will also determine what is the absolute uncertainty possible in your measurement so this is something which is very important then here we have the number of significant figures the maximum uncertainty determines the number of significant figures a measure a measurement should have the number of significant figures in a measurement is the number of meaningful digits whose values are known with certainty as we have just discussed then what is the meaning of these lines as we have just discussed that if we are using a vernier caliper whose sensitivity or you can say the uh, uh, the, the sensitivity of this vernier caliper is 0.01 cm so what you can say that the scale or the reading will be suppose 10.0 uh say 10.03 uh, cm but if you will try to write 0.003 this will not be possible because the significant figure which you are using is the uh, you can say sensitivity related and this the number of significant figures in the measurement with the number of meaningful digits so this is very important that if you are writing this value this will be the correct value but if you are going for 10.003 so this will not be the possibility here because your sensitivity or the precision of the instrument is or your absolute uncertainty is not 0.001 in this case it is only the value which is 0.01 so the value you can write is only this value this will not be a correct situation or correct value so this is very important then again the same example we can consider if you are dealing with or you using the uh, screw gauge then you have the uh, you can say sensitivity of 0.001 cm or the least count is 0.001 cm or simply you can say that the delta x or in absolute uncertainty is going up to 0.001 cm now you can write 0.003 because the measurement or the instrument which you are using for the measurement is sensitive enough and the significant figure over here is giving you the situation of the value so what you can write 10.003 because here you can go up to 0.001 cm so here the value you can write in this way so 10.003 is possible or you can write 10 point suppose 021 or you can write 10 point say 121 so all these significant figures you are in, uh, you can say write when the absolute uncertainty is 0.001 cm but again the same thing in this case in the case of your vernier caliper you cannot write 0.003 you can write 0.03 or you can write 0.29 or you can write 0.13 or whatever so this these values are basically coming from the concept that what is the basic uh, you can say uh, uh, the uh, absolute uncertainty in these cases and what is the sensitivity so the number of significant figures you can go or uh, write with the help of the concept of your precision so this is very important 
now uh, we have actually uh, in this topic we have two aspects one is uh, you can see the details of uh, this topic which uh, we will consider only for the theory classes or theory paper but there are other uh, you can say uh, explanations of this topic for your practical aspects so for the time being i'm just discussing the theoretical part or theory part and in your p1 and p2 they will ask question which will based on this discussion now here we have uh, of course in the uh, coming uh, you can say lectures we will discuss uncertainty for your practicals as well where the uncertainty in graphs or logs or other uh, you can say operations we can discuss but for the time being we are just discussing those topics which or those uh, you can say ranges which are required for your p1 and p2 for uh, here we have another concept for the desired quantities their uncertainties could be estimated as follows yani if you have suppose so the derived quantities and these derived quantities not desired of course so the derived quantities like suppose you have the uh, uh, say a quantity which is z which is the derived quantity of x and y so if x is with plus minus delta x and y is with plus minus delta y so this z will be z plus minus del z so how you will determine the uncertainty of a sum or difference of two quantities so simply you can say that the uncertainty of the uh, third quantity or the derived quantity will be equal to the sum of the uncertainties of the given values or given quantities so this is what we have so simply you can say that this uh, uh, del uh, uh, plus minus del z will be equal to plus minus del x plus del y inshallah in the coming discussion we will take these uh, uh, the points and uh, we will discuss the examples in detail but for the time being i am just giving you the formula so you can say that the first formula which we have to remember is this one for the determination of absolute uncertainty when we are dealing with the sum or difference of two physical quantities then we have another point yani we may have a situation where we have the, the product or quotient of two quantities and third quantities being calculated like suppose here you have again the example of say uh, the quantity is a z quantity and here we have the absolute uncertainty of z quantity but on the other hand the given quantities are plus minus x plus minus del x y plus minus del y so what you will write for this del z so simply you can say that the fractional uncertainty of a product or quotient of two quantities is the sum of fractional uncertainties of those two quantities yani simply we can say that del plus minus del z divided by z will be equal to plus minus del x divided by x that is the fractional uncertainty of quantity x and del y divided by y which is the fractional uh, fractional uncertainty of the second quantity so this is how you can determine the fractional uncertainty of the uh, new quantity which is z and uh, again as i said the detail of this uh, you can say Uh, topic we will have inshallah in the coming uh, discussion so this is what we have and uh, this equation is very important so for the time being these equations you have to remember remember one point which is uh, very important i have just mentioned here that whether you are dealing with the sum or differences the absolute uncertainty is simply the sum of their individual absolute uncertainties and on the other hand if you are dealing with the product and quotient of two quantities then what will happen the fractional uncertainty of the new quantity will be equal to the fractional uncertainties of the given quantities so this is important third uh, is the situation when you are dealing with the <coughs> exponentials 
like suppose you have a situation where suppose x is equal to r power n so here what we are saying the fractional uncertainty of an exponential is the product of the exponential and the fractional uncertainty and simply you can say that you will write in this way that the uncertainty fractional uncertainty del x over x will be equal to n times del r over r so this is something which is very important the fractional uncertainty of the exponential is the product of the exponential and the fractional uncertainty of the base so this is something which is very important and here you have to remember these equations and of course as i said that when we will discuss these things in detail so inshallah we will discuss that what and how we can write these uh, uh, things and uh, what will be the situation of the uh, power and what will be the situation of the product and uh, division and of course the subtraction and addition so this is the uh, discussion for today and inshallah in the coming uh, discussion or in the next uh, lecture we will go for the details of these calculations and more examples if you are new uh, in uh, on the channel then subscribe and share the channel and uh, of course uh, uh, this will help you uh, to get the new lectures as we will load uh, upload the uh, new lectures and of course the other students can also uh, get benefit of these lectures so till the next lecture allah hafiz take care